Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring. Here we are working the Weeping Peninsula, and we have two problems. One is the Knight's Cavalry boss, which is going to be patrolling up and down this pathway here at night. And another is the, I believe his official name is the Golem Archer, the giant gigantic archer that hangs out here that basically covers this entire area here, which is really harshing our buzz when it comes to moving around this area and getting stuff. So those guys have got to go. I'm assuming that you have the crossbow and you have the Demi-Humans Queen Staff leveled up to rank four. Um, let's put both these in the same role. Here, that's all you're going to need. You can swap back and forth between these two weapons. You're going to have to two-hand the crossbow, and I'm assuming you have a large supply of ammunition. Alright? We have lots of ammunition. And if you don't, see the previous video. That's it. Let's take out the Knight's Cavalry first. And you want your magic staff ready to launch magic glint blades. And you also want to have a good supply of... Fire pots, just in case. Probably won't use those, but you might be in a position to do that. All right, so now to get the Knight's Cavalry to spawn, we have to wait until night. So, past time, wait until nightfall. Now, we're playing as a mage. We're not gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this sucker. This, this is out of the question. He's going to make mincemeat out of us in a New York minute. I got a beautiful little plan. We're going to take the high ground up there and we're going to take him on from there. So let's just wait for him to patrol down to this end and then we're going to hop on our horse and ride up there. Let's go for it. Now, this is not a no go zone. He does have problems getting up here though, but he sometimes will eventually get up here, so be ready to bail at a moment's notice, okay? But he has problems getting up here. Here's what you're going to do. First of all, we want to get him to stop. So let's shoot a, a bolt like right there. Oops. There, we got his attention. Now aim right for his head, press the forward button to zoom in, hold down, and swing and a miss. Try again. Hit. Now, if he comes over here, if he gets close, you're going to switch to your staff and blast him with glint plates. If not, keep working on him with the crossbow. Try to aim for the head. And sometimes there's a bit of a clipping problem here. He's coming close. There we go. Let's go for it. And as long as he's stuck there, okay, and if he gets up, bail out. Lock off. Run away. And we did a lot of damage with those glint blades. If you really need an emergency getaway, take this spirit spring up here. Jump up, and we're gonna go here anyways. And let's go back down. There he is. Let's see if we can retake our original position. Don't take too much time doing this because eventually it's going to turn to daytime and it's going to disappear. So, 
Okay, there he is. Crossbow in two hands. Lock and load. Whoops. Got him. And here he comes. If he gets close enough, switch to the glint blades. And if he gets directly underneath you, you can throw some fire pots like right now. But that's kind of a a crapshoot. And sometimes he goes way over there. Don't worry about that. He'll eventually reset and start patrolling again. I think he's pretty upset. Okay, got some good hits there. If you're gonna lead him, lead him a lot. Nice. Oops. Don't forget, I got an incredible range on this thing. <laughs> I think we got him. And that should do him in. get a big chunk of change for that one and the Ash of War Barricade Shield and the Knight Rider Flail. This is the weapon that requires a lot of dexterity. That I was talking about before. This thing here. We're gonna have to wait till we get um, a certain crystal tier before we can use that. But hang on to it though. And we got <clears throat> a new Ash of War that we could put on shields. Which I don't use that often, but... There, so that's done. This area is not clear. It is now clear, rather. He will not respawn. Now, let's go take care of the other bad boy. Um, let's wait till daytime. Actually, while we're here, since we already did the, uh... Sorry, let's wait till daytime first. We could get an extra memory stone, have an extra memory slot to put to, like, be able to equip more spells. And we already used the Spirit Spring to go up. Let's do the exact same thing again. Get on your horse. Stand up with the Spirit Spring and press the jump button and push forward. And get up here to this tower. There may be a pack of wolves here. Get your magic, your glint stone pebble ready to go. It's always one big bad wolf. And you're a little red riding hood. Like. 
Hey, those are all regular wolves. There's one big white wolf though that's pretty tough hombres. Probably over here. Wanna make sure you take him out first before we engage in a little puzzle. Puzzle. There he is right there. Trust myself to have enough. Uh... Oh, he's got a pack of wolves with him too. He's just gonna refill. I don't want to get caught short. Let's target the big boy first. I'm gonna take about four or five shots. There you got him. That's your refill. Very good. All right, puzzle time. Seek three wise beasts. This simply means find three turtles and kill them. There's one right there. Now you're not going to get a target, so um, you just like... Oops. Oh, that's my, my phone. My phone is charging. Um, okay, it's going to do that every 20 minutes. Okay, don't worry about that. Um, you can kill these guys easily by throwing a fire pot. Okay, that's one down. One wise beast down. The next wise beast is over here, hiding in the bushes. Is that... That's a wolf. Here he is, right there. Okay, the wolf distracted me. See, there's the stairs. You see him right there. Okay, that's two down. And the last one is in the pond on the other side. You won't be able to see him, but you'll see a splash kind of indicating where he's he is. So just throw another fire pot approximately where the splash is. And there we go. The seal on the rise has opened. Very good, let's go get our goodies. Okay, so this is opened up. It was closed before, I should have showed you that, but this door was closed before. Okay, so once you get inside, climb the ladder. Give me the ladder. Attaboy. Easy. The goodie box. What's in the goodie box? A memory stone. So now we can equip four spells and it's applied automatically. And we're good to go. Now, let's just go back to Castlemore Rampart. I'm going to take the Spirit Spring again. This time we're going to land on top of a tower. This, this stuff we're going to get is not really bad crucial to our build, but you might want to have this stuff anyways, just, you know, if you, like, want to have everything. Okay? We're going to land on top of this tower up here, so aim yourself like that. Okay? Get on your horse. Okay, so aim straight forward. You're going to push forward at the top of the lift, okay? So go on the spear spring, press jump, push forward, and you can aim yourself right into this tower here. Land. And you get... A great turtle shell, which has the barricade shield skill on it. We already have that Ash of War. We just got it from killing the uh, the Black Knight there. And this doesn't even have 100% um, physical damage negation. But you can sell it though. 
And there's a warming stone here somewhere, which can be used to recover health in battle. Although it's kind of tricky to use. I'll talk about that later. Okay, two warming stones. And that's that. Okay, so that's that stuff. Let's go take out that golem archer so that this whole area down here is clear so we can, you know, have our, you know, run of the land, basically. Back to Castle Morn Rampart. Now, this has to be handled delicately. You don't want to upset him. We have to approach him carefully, exactly like we did before. And we have the money to level up, so let's do that. I always want to do this. Let's put points into mine to increase our FP. Okay, here's what we're going to do. He's here. We're going to sneak, take our horse, do the exact same thing we did to go get the, the golden seed. Right about here, we're going to get off our horse and sneak along here to the coast, drop down on the coast. At that point, we should be safe. We can ride along the coast, pick up um, a golden seed here, and then come along here to the back end of the castle. Get up here and then sneak up. We can sneak right up on his ass. And then at that point, he's still going to be calm. We just blast him with some glint blades and we'll take him down right nicely. All right, that's the plan. Let's do it. Switch over the glint blades. Get up here, stick to the right side. Okay. Stick to the right side. Exact same as we did before. You can pick up those mushrooms again. You need to double jump up here. That's my phone charging, like I said. Sorry about that. Okay, right about here, dismount, just to be safe, because this is the part where you kind of, if you're too noisy, he'll get upset, and once he gets upset and starts blasting everywhere, um, even if you get up behind him, he's going to start, he's going to turn around and start blasting you, and then it's kind of tricky taking him down. You can still take him down if you alert him, but um, it's just trickier. Let's get right over here. There you We gotta get low enough so we can drop down without injuring ourselves. See, there he is. He's still calm. If we go over here, we should be able to make a drop down without hurting ourselves. Right over here. Okay. Sneak down to the beach. Okay, it's very good. All is good. Very, very quiet. Very quiet. Okay, see those three uh, totems there? There is a golden rune there. Guarded by some wild dogs. It's safe to use the horse here. Let's get close. Get your pebble ready to go. Take out the dogs. Whoops, watch it. <laughs> So three wild dogs down. Let's go cash in. Thank you very much. Okay. Should be safe to use the horse as long as you stay on the beach here. Get right up to the cliff's edge. Hunker down. Dismount. sure you have a full charge of magic juice. Get right up against the wall here. Shh. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Get right up on it. 
Dad's ass. <laughs> you insert diabolical laughter. Target him. And then you're just going to spam the blimp blades until you run out. Recharge and then spam again. But he'll probably go down in the first batch. Okay? So target. And spam. I wasn't close enough. That's okay. This will demonstrate what you do if you alert him. Let's just recharge. Some of my shots missed because I wasn't close enough. All you have to do is just wait until he shoots and then you're gonna pop out and blast him again. It's a long reload time. Wait right here. You're safe. Let's go. Five shots. And there we go, down he goes. Occasionally he drops great arrows, and if you're really, really super lucky, you'll get uh, Golem's blade or something like that. Golem's, it's a fantastic weapon. Um, oh, we didn't get lucky. Okay, so that's that. Anyways, we got paid. And there is a side of grace. Here. Discover it so we can easily come back here and finish off that quest for that woman whose family or whose father is in here in Castle Morn's whole quest here. Right? But we're not going to do that right now. We are going to finish off. Stop it, phone. <laughs> That's that. So we got that uh, smithing stone here and a poison mist. So we now got the run of the area. The area is now cleared out. No more badass big boy archer commanding this area. No more knight cavalry at night time. So let's go back to um, Castlemore Rampart and finish up this little run. Get a smithing stone and a new spell. Okay, so we've got the run of the area. Down here. I'm gonna go up there. In this field here, you're looking for a teardrop scarab. Approach carefully so you don't scare it away. It's right there, you see it? Look up your glintstone pebble. Make sure you got a full charge in your flask. Approach it and spam the pebbles until it's dead. That didn't take much, and we got a new spell: poison mist. This is an incantation, though. We're gonna need the finger seal to to uh, cast it. So, if you look in your inventory. It's an incantation. We're going to get a finger seal, though. Show you about that later. And one final thing in this area. Right up here. Right up against this cliff here and along this cliff here. That guy right there. Showing you the map right now. Okay. And he's guarding a smithing stone. And that's our little run done. That's not, not by a long shot everything in Weeping Peninsula, but that's everything I wanted to get for now. Alright, so. We are done here. 
Thanks for watching. And if everything is being uploaded according to plan, today should be Friday, March, uh, March, uh, hey phone, tell me what day it is. You've been bugging me. I'll just look at my laptop. Anyways, it's Friday. That means uh, tomorrow is typically my day off. Um, I might be able to do a Saturday night upload, but probably not. So I will return Friday, March 25th. So I'll return on Sunday with the next episode of Elden Ring and our bad boy prisoner who's getting stronger and stronger. Yeah. All right. Thumbs up for the Slackster. Subscribe, comment, and have a good weekend one and all. And I'll see you on Sunday. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.